Most people know the country of Brazil best for its famous football or vibrant samba dance. But did you know that this is also a country with a unique culinary culture? If you are a lover of Western cuisine in general, and barbecue in particular, you should not miss the opportunity to enjoy the famous Texas de Brazil barbecue flavor. In Korea, a branch of the Texas de Brazil restaurant chain can sell 13 tons of barbecue meat per month. Do you know how they did that? We invite you to explore with us in the following video. Texas de Brazil is a famous churrascaria or Brazilian steakhouse restaurant chain with restaurants expanding across locations both domestically and internationally. It debuted on October the 13th, 1998 in Addison, Texas, a suburb of Dallas. This restaurant's barbecue combines southern Brazilian cuisine with Texas-style meats and creates an extremely attractive new barbecue dish. In Korea, the favorite meat prepared at Texas barbecue is beef. Beef farms and beef processing plants are typically large-scale production facilities designed to mass raise and process beef to supply meat to the market. Cow farms are often built on large areas with separate areas for raising and caring for cows. The cow barns are designed to be airy and have a ventilation system ensuring the best environment for cows to grow. In addition, the method of raising and caring for animals is also carried out in a methodical and scientific manner to produce the best quality beef. After meeting the standards for slaughter, the cows will be taken to factories to carry out the process of handling, processing and packaging beef. Hygiene and food safety standards are strictly adhered to at these factories. The processing process is often carried out using modern and advanced methods to ensure safety and speed. After processing, the beef is divided into small parts such as thighs or ribs or processed into different products such as sausages. Beef products are then packaged and prepared for delivery to stores, supermarkets and restaurants throughout the region. The meat chosen for Texas barbecue is usually the ribs, thighs and lean shoulders. After being received from the processing plant, the meat will be cleaned, drained and then prepared for the marinating stage. The marinade is prepared using herbs, brown sugar, honey and apple cider vinegar which are put in a large bowl, then other spices such as chili powder or black pepper are added for more flavor and aroma. This spice mixture is pureed 
and the puree is used to marinate the previously prepared meat. The beef is left in a large block, then mixed well with the sauce and marinated for about 30 minutes to absorb the spices. After marinating, we will fix the meat on specialized grilling skewers and begin the grilling process. Grill on clean smokeless charcoal to preserve the delicious flavor of the meat. Turn it evenly, occasionally adding marinade so the meat surface doesn't dry out. While waiting for the meat to cook, we'll prepare some vegetables and fruits as accompaniment including pineapple, bell peppers, onions and asparagus. All are cleaned, then sliced and grilled until just cooked. When the meat turns yellow and becomes fragrant, it's ready to be served. Texas barbecue is served directly by the chef on the dining table. When receiving requests from diners, these meat parts are transferred from the grill to the dining table. This method of serving both guarantees the quality of the dish and increases the enjoyment of the experience for diners. A special feature of Texas Brazilian barbecue is the combination with typical barbecue sauces to create a rich and attractive outer crust. This dish is often enjoyed with side dishes such as grilled corn, mashed potatoes or fresh vegetable salad. When enjoying it, the rich, greasy and plump flavor of the meat blends with the sweet and slightly spicy taste of barbecue sauce to create a unique, unforgettable culinary experience for diners. That's the end of today's video. What do you think about today's topic? Please comment below to let us know. If you are passionate about exploring, don't forget to like and share the video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss all the interesting and exciting videos ahead. But for now, goodbye and see you again in the next video.